Sunshine splashes on her face that it makes her eyes hurt a little. You wake up and remember that it is time to go to school again. You get ready, eat breakfast, and say love you to her mom before you leave. As the car drives, more and more buildings and trees flash in front of your eyes. They don't look like anything from your country. You kind of miss seeing tall buildings and walking to school on sidewalks. And sometimes you are just tired of seeing English everywhere. The bell rings. You walk into the classroom and see an unfamiliar face. Uh oh, it's a substitute. You start to be a little nervous, not because she might yell at some random kid. You're nervous because she is going to call your name, the name you don't prefer to be called. People's chatter keeps going on until the second bell rings. The substitute gets up from the chair slowly with the attendance sheet she was given. She goes onto the podium and starts to introduce herself. You're not listening to anything though. There were just too many thoughts in your head. She's going to say it wrong. People will think it's weird. What if people laugh? This is embarrassing. It's going to be so awkward. Then you know your name is going to get cold next. You can feel the blood rushing to your face. Your head feels like a balloon and air just keeps on pumping in. We and? Yep, just like what you thought, she got it wrong. Some people start to look around to find that person because they have never heard that name before. You raise your hand really slowly and say, here. Wait, that's your name? Someone taps on your shoulder and asks. Yeah, you reply and didn't correct anyone. The bell rings again. You walk to the same spot and sit down. While you take your lunch out, your friends walk towards you and greet you. They start to talk about that TV show you've never watched, that hot kid at school, and just everything you don't know about. They laugh together and all you can do is just stir your food with a spoon. Yes, you all look the same, the dark eyes, the sort of flat nose, and the black hair. But you were not born in the US and you know little about their pop culture. You don't really speak their language and they don't really speak yours. Then they leave when the bell rings again. The door slowly opens and the smell of carbs, soy sauce, and sugar abruptly appears. There are fried rice, pork buns, and grass jelly. You used to see these when you were younger, when you went to the markets with your mom. You were always excited to see these food all over the table. It's a different yet familiar world since you entered from the door. It is where you sense serenity. You take off your backpack and throw it to the ground once you get home. You hear your parents talking loudly that you thought they were in an argument. Turns out it's even worse. They are sad, anxious, and worried. They talk about how they have had only four groups of customers at most every day recently. And it seems like the situation will only get worse. This morning, a group of teenagers yelled at your parents and told them to not spread the virus and just go back to where they're from. You saw a lot of news like this online, but you never thought this would happen to your family. We haven't even been back for five years. You thought. You open your door and it squeezed a little. With your face on the bed, you wish you knew how to make things better. You feel like a thick, strong hand is squeezing your heart as if it's squeezing a sponge. And you fall asleep as the pillow gets wet.